Hello, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from Allery Chemistry and welcome to this topic on organic synthesis. So this is topic 21 for the CIE specification. So this is the Cambridge International specification. So if you're studying um, the CIE um, exam board or using the exam board or with the exam board CIE, then this is the, the exact video for you. And in fact, there's a full range of A-level videos, year one and year two, specifically for CIE, on the Allo Chemistry YouTube channel. Um, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button just to show your support for this project. That'll be absolutely brilliant. All the slides you see here as well are um, available to purchase if you wish to have an electronic copy that you can use to enhance your revision. Um, they're great value for money. If you just click on the link in the description box in uh click on the link in the description box below and you'll be able to get a hold of them there but like i said the great value for money and you get the full range of a level um slides as well right so let's make a start with this topic then so we're going to look at um functional um well we're going to look at organic synthesis so organic synthesis is um effectively a summary of all of the organic reactions that you've seen so far in in year one or the vast majority of them anyway now the whole point of this is to kind of summarize the kind of different reaction methods that can be used and the conditions that are used for these reactions. Not all of them will be on here. It's really difficult to put everything on here, but the vast majority of them will be on here that you'll need to be aware of. Um, also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to summarize the functional groups and types of reaction on this. So this is basically going to summarize all of the organic stuff because um, this is the last kind of... Um, kind of last proper organic topic for um for year one anyway so it's a it's a good it's a nice little summary uh, summary video so um just to kind of recap then we need to know um various range of functional groups so alkanes remember alkanes have that um the um suffix in at the end um general formula cn h2 n plus two alkenes you will have seen so these are cnh2n with a suffix of e um alcohols and diols so these have the oh formula remember um so they normally end in all or sometimes it'll be hydroxy as you will have seen before um, and what i would say as well make sure that you've gone through all of the organic chemistry topics first so that's topics 13 to 20 before you look at this video i should have said that right at the start because obviously a lot of this stuff is if you if this is the first time you've seen organic chemistry and you look at this and you're thinking what on earth is he talking about so make sure you're familiar with the kind of fundamentals of organic chemistry this purely summarizes it all um, but anyway if you have seen the other videos then you would notice that there is hydroxy and alcohols as well <clears throat> or the end in all um, haloalkanes or halogenoalkanes, they're also known as RCX. So these are basically your halogens. So they'll be fluoro, chloro, bromo, and iodo. So for example, bromopropane is an example. Um, ethers, you might have seen a few ethers. You won't see many of these, to be honest, but they have alkoxy in the middle. So that's the, that's the um, name of an ether. Primary amines and diamines, you would have seen this in the nitrogen um, compounds topic. Um, so this is 19, topic 19. Um, and you would have seen it in the halogens group 17 topic as well. So um, general formula CN, H2N plus 3N. So they always end in NH2. Um, now that's obviously for amines. We either use amino or end it in amine. You're mainly going to see this, to be honest, amines. And for diamines, you end it in diamine. Um, so that's just some examples there. Okay, aldehydes. These have the C double bond O group on the end. So these are always at the end of a carbon number. And they end in al, a bit like ethanol. And then obviously you've got carboxylic acids and dicarboxylic acids. So that's CnH2NO2. So this is, has C double bond O, O H. Remember that's a carboxylic acid. So they end in um, oic acid at the end. That's really the type types you're going to see. Esters. Um, obviously these are derivatives of carboxylic acids. So these have 
um, double bond R, and these end in O8. So, for example, methyl ethanoate, depending on obviously what's what's actually bonded on there. So make sure you wear vesters. Um, ketones. Um, obviously, these are um, a bit like aldehydes, but the uh, carbonyl group here, the C double bond O, is in between two other carbons, and they end in own. For example, propanone. Uh, nitriles, so these have got CN at the end of them. So, for example, there'll be nitrile at the end. For example, ethane nitrile is a, is a good example of that. Okay, you also need to know some reaction types as well. And um, we've got seven main types of reactions. Again, you will have seen these already um, throughout all the other organic topics. This is kind of summarizing them. So, um, you've got addition reactions. And remember, this is when you add across a double bond and two molecules join to form a single product. Um, you've got substitution reactions, so this is where you're swapping one functional group for another or one atom for another. Um, so you've got various examples there of obviously a halogen, so a halidine, um, no, sorry, halogen or alkane, it might be an alcohol, um, benzene you'll see in year two, but you'll kind of come across that later. Um, and then for elimination or dehydration reactions, as it suggests, this is when you remove a functional group. You've got to form an alkene as well. So if you're eliminating, you'll form an alkene. So something with a double bond. So for example, X, um, if you're removing a halogen, it might be HX that's been eliminated. Or if you're removing an OH, say from an alcohol, then you're eliminating water. And that's why they call it dehydration reaction as well. So they've got kind of two names. Okay, condensation reactions are when you um, um, you kind of emit a water molecule, or it could be HCl, um, it could be either of them. So this is when you get two molecules joining and the smaller molecule is emitted from or eliminated from the actual reaction. So functional groups generally involved with these reactions are um, um, acid chlorides, which you'll see in year two, carboxylic acids, um, amides, which again you'll see in year two, and high OHs, so alcohols, um, which obviously you've seen already. Hydrolysis, hydro meaning water, lysis meaning to split. So this is splitting of a molecule using water. Um, so obviously you're forming two smaller molecules. Um, this could be, for example, breaking... Um, um, polymers um, apart it could be esters for example so I know we've got polyesters but you can break esters apart as you've seen um, previously so this is just breaking any any molecule with um, with water and finally is oxidation so um, no it's not it's not finally it's penultimately because you've got reduction after this as well so oxidation is basically um, you're reacting a molecule with an oxidizing agent to form a different um, product so classic example here would be primary alcohol to aldehyde to carboxylic acid or secondary alcohol to ketone so that's a classic sign of an oxidation reaction um, and then obviously reduction is just going backwards so this is carboxylic acid form an aldehyde to a primary alcohol and then a ketone to a secondary alcohol which is obviously at the end there so they're kind of like your main types of reactions there. Now what we have to do is then kind of put all this together. And you've seen an awful lot of reactions, to be fair, for organic chemistry. So what's nice is to try and kind of put all this together, show you kind of how each of these chemicals kind of interact, and show you multiple steps of how you make them. Now what the exam board will be expecting you to know is the reaction conditions of some of these reactions and what forms what. This can take a lot of time, and the best thing to do with anything like this is to do it over time. Never just sit down and try and remember all of these in an hour or so, because it isn't going to happen. Um, you've got to make sure that you're kind of remembering these reactions just over time, over weeks and months as you're studying, and you'll pick these up. But this next slide is just really for um, a summary of uh, the reactions that you will have seen um, during your time in year one chemistry. So these are all what we call aliphatic. All that means is just straight chain um, hydrocarbons or straight chain based. So they don't, well, not straight chain, but they don't have um, a benzene in there, basically. When you do year two chemistry, and if you do do that, then you will be introduced to what we call aromatics, which basically they have a benzene ring in there. But um, for this purpose, obviously, you don't do anything to do with that in year one. 
So you need to know these reactions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously put some of these up on here. So these are some of the ones that um, that you'll be familiar with. Anything with a triple star will only be for year two, but all of these you should be able to, uh, you should know effectively. Um, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a stiffly. So what's going to pop up in here is an arrow and um, I'm going to, you can pause the video when the arrow comes up. Try and see if you can work out what the reaction conditions are and then unpause the video um, and then see if you are right. So this is a good way of kind of summarizing this. I think that's probably a better use of this. Otherwise, I'm just going to be going through a series of reactions. So let's do the first one. So let's say we're going from alcohol to aldehyde. So if you want to, pause the video now um, and then see if you can write down your reaction conditions. And then obviously I'll reveal the answer. So I'll do it for all of these. So obviously this one is going to be potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid heating with a primary alcohol. That's what the one, the one with a little degree, that's primary. Primary alcohol in distillation kit. Okay, so let's go backwards. Aldehyde to alcohol. Okay, so this one's sodium borohydride in methanol and water. So let's do aldehyde to carboxylic acid. Okay, so this one is potassium dichromate, sulfuric acid, um, catalyst, and reflux. So what about alcohol to ketone? Okay, so this one's going to be um, potassium dichromate, sulfuric acid, and some heat. And it's a secondary alcohol for this one, obviously forming a ketone. What about ketone to alcohol? Well, this one's going to be sodium borohydride, so it's a reducing agent, in methanol and water. So what about alcohol to alkene? Well, this one's going to be concentrated sulfuric acid, or you can use phosphoric acid and some heat. So what about going backwards, alkene to alcohol? Okay, well, this one's going to be steam, some phosphoric acid catalyst, 60 atmospheres of pressure, and 300 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what about alcohol to haloalkane or halogenoalkane? Okay, well, this one's going to be sodium halide, so NAX, plus H2SO4 and 20 degrees Celsius. So what about going backwards, haloalkane to alcohol? Okay, well, this one's going to be warm sodium hydroxide, some water, and it's all done under reflux as well. What about alkane to haloalkane? Okay, well, this one is the radical reaction. So this is using UV light and obviously use a halogen, X2, for this. So what about alkene to haloalkane? Okay, so this one's going to be HX, so it's your hydrogen halide, and it's done at 20 degrees Celsius, so it's just room temperature. Okay, so what about haloalkane to alkene? Okay, so this one's going to be potassium hydroxide, ethanol, and it's going to be done under reflux. What about alkene to dihaloalkane? Okay, so with this one, you're going to use your halogen, and it's going to be 20 degrees Celsius. So this is basically the um, adding bromine to your alkenes, a decolorization of bromine, remember? Okay, what about alkene to diol? Okay, well, this one's going to be acidified potassium manganate solution, and this is going to be done at 20 degrees Celsius. And what about alkene to alkane? Okay, well, this one's going to be hydrogen, and it's going to be a nickel catalyst, and it's going to be done at 150 degrees Celsius. And what about alcohol to iodoalkane? Okay, well, this one's going to be iodine, and this is your red phosphorus and uh, reflux as well. So remember that kind of, it's a very specific reaction for that one. Um, and what about carboxylic acids to alcohol? Well, that one's going to be lithium aluminium hydrides. It's your reducing agent, and that forms a primary alcohol as a result. Okay, so that's the first slide. There's more reactions to come. As you can see, there's a lot on there, a lot of different reactions. So you can see why you should be doing this over time, really. Um, right, I'm going to clear the board.
and I'm going to bring up a load of new ones here. Now, like I say, the ones with um, the ones which have been dragged from the previous slide, I've put from previous slide, as you can see, obviously. Um, anything with three stars, you don't need to do. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to, they're still going to pop up on the screen, but I am just going to skip past them because you won't need to know them until year two. Okay, same again. So let's do Halo Alkane to Nitrile. Okay, so this is going to be potassium cyanide and ethanol and reflux. So what about nitrile to primary amine? Okay, well this one's going to be lithium aluminium hydride and we're going to use dilute sulfuric acid or we can use hydrogen with a nickel platinum catalyst, high temperature and pressure or we can use sodium, ethanol and reflux. So any one of them will deliver the result to go from nitrile to primary amine. Okay, so what about haloalkane to primary amine? Okay, well this one will be ammonia and heat. And so what about nitrile to carboxylic acid? Okay, well this one's going to be dilute hydrochloric acid, so dilute HCl and reflux. What about haloalkane to carboxylic acid? Okay, well this one's going to be magnesium. Um, and a dry ether and carbon dioxide in dilute acids. So that's obviously going from there. Um, what about aldehyde or a ketone to form hydroxynitrile? Okay, well, this one's going to be potassium cyanide, sulfuric acid, and it's all done at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. Isyl chloride to carboxylic acid. That's the reaction there. Again, you, you'll kind of come on to this in year two. And obviously vice versa. Okay, so don't worry too much about that near one. Okay, aldehyde and ketone to an ester. Okay, well this is going to be concentrated sulfuric acid, alcohol, heat and a catalyst. I'll just use a catalyst for that. So that's your sulfuric acid catalyst. Ester to carboxylic acid. Okay, so this is your um, hydrolysis reaction. So using dilute sulfuric acid, water, reflux, and a catalyst, or you can do base hydrolysis, which is sodium hydroxide, dilute sodium hydroxide, and reflux. Okay, what about ester to alcohol? Okay, this is again dilute acid or alkali and reflux. It's exactly the same. You just you obviously you produce when you um, hydrolyze a um, an ester, you would always get a carboxylic acid and an alcohol from that anyway. But obviously here you use using your acid mainly. Okay, so what about alcohol to ester? Okay, so this is a carboxylic acid, so alcohol plus carboxylic acid with an acid catalyst and heat. You can use an acyl chloride, that's for year two only. So um, for purposes of year one, you just need to know about acid, um, uh, carboxylic acids. Uh, acyl chloride to primary amide, obviously that's for um, year two. So that is everything, okay? So um, there's a lot there, a lot of reactions. Again, anything to do with organic synthesis, the maps like that just help you see what reactions you need to know and how they kind of interlink. Um, you're not expected, I, I, I certainly wouldn't expect you to kind of sit down, remember all that within an hour, like I say. You really should be looking at this over a period of time. Um, like I say, the full range of A-level videos for CIE is on Allery Chemistry YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel to show your support um, for this project. That'll be absolutely fantastic. As I mentioned before, these slides are available to purchase from a test shop. Great value for money to supplement your revision material. Click on the link in the description box below and you'll be able to get a hold of them there. Um, but I hope that was helpful. And um, there's only one more topic for year one, which is topic 22, which looks into analysis. So um, that's basically everything for organic chemistry for year one. That's it. Bye bye.